Hey guys, this is uh, Cyrus from iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Today I'm reviewing SolarWalk for iPad. They they recently came with a new version that is um, optimized for the latest iPad. It has a re the the new improved display. So I just wanted to show the difference between these uh, these two iPads and the new one and iPad 2. The screen quality. You can, you can you can really tell the difference when you put visual apps and put them together and sort of compare them so here i have i have sort of the same screen on solar walk this is this is the best zoom that i can do without messing up the video so as you can see this is this is the the latest generation iPad and this is the second generation you can see the third third generation has a brighter screen you can you can see the colors more it's more vivid if you will so let's let's play around with it there we go Let's go and visit Jupiter. So there, there are actually slight differences between um, the the last version of Solar Walk and the new version. You can you can tell I'm 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 testing the exact same apps. One of them was optimized for for the second generation iPad and this one right here that you're seeing is optimized for a third generation so there are slight differences let me make it there we go now I if you see this in person you can actually see that the details on this planet actually show much better on the third generation ver versus the second one so this is a basic demonstration that yeah even though some people don't want to upgrade to the to the, to the latest iPad the screen quality does make a difference now as far as uh, there, are, there are talks about how the latest generation iPad heats up when you when you try visual apps when you try graphics um, intensive apps I haven't really had that much tr pro problem with my iPad it gets a little bit warm but it's not that hard to keep so you know hold it for for a while it's not it doesn't burn my fingers when I hold it so so I don't know what consumer reports was was testing but I haven't been able to get 116 degrees as they suggested in their report Let's test. The sun is beautiful here. Let's let's test it here. There we go. So yeah, I haven't I haven't played with the settings of any of these apps. So you can see there are small differences. I'm doing exactly the exact same thing. One of them has different graphics a little bit. So um, I assume that's part of their the developer's plan to optimize it for for the latest generation. Um, so that's that's pretty much pretty much it. You can't really tell for for some apps you don't really need that the improved display, but obviously it does make a difference. Is it worth upgrading to iPad 3 just because of the screen? That that really depends on what you want to do. Some people are going to be perfectly fine with their second generation, even the first generation iPad. And some people just want to have the latest technology and get more of better colors better resolution and all of that so this is solar walk for ipad 
and uh, it's av available in, in the App Store if you, if you are into astronomy and you want to find out more about planets and objects in our solar system. It looks beautiful on the third generation iPad, it looks beautiful on the second generation iPad. Uh, you, de you decide which one, which, which, which picture is better. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit us on iPhone app, appsfinder.com.